Why does it always do that? It's like surprise! It, it zooms on your face, really. <laughs> just Ooh, really just, zooms uh, on your face. Uh, mm-hmm. It just zooms up, and I don't like it. I wonder if it has to do with the Mac. But what time is it? Welcome, world. It is Hello, world. twelve forty-six, and we're hoping that you are now on your lunch break and don't want to work after lunch. So you're gonna join us and say hello <laughs> for rip tights and greasy hair. Yeah, as I was telling her, my I tried to do my hair for you since it's last time I've been around these blocks. My hair has been in a pony, but right now it just this is hilarious. What? The banner alert I just got: Nicole Canole is live now. Rip tights and greasy hair. <laughs> Y'all better open that, uh, man. <laughs> I love that. That is hilarious. Yeah, that's, that's why you got the greasy hair. Yeah, that's I'm why. Gonna say rip tight. Yeah. They're mm-hmm. snagged. They're not actually ripped. We've got a live edge wood table yeah. in our beautiful office here. And it needs to be. Yeah, it needs to be sanded down a little bit. Sanded down. Got me. Got him. It's holding on. Yeah. But anyway, we haven't been to you in two, we haven't talked to you in two weeks, and the reason why we haven't talked to you in two weeks is because of COVID. I mean, there's been a lot of, like, mental, like, for, well... Oh, so we say it like that, we, it sounds you know, like we you had have COVID. No, we haven't had COVID, praise God, knock on wood, and to whom all blessings flow, and all that jazz, but um, it's been nerve-wracking for our families around the holidays, and that caused a lot of... And, and I have somebody in my family right now who had it was in the hospital, and it was um, an emotional roller coaster to say the least. So I didn't want to get out of bed on time to do this and meet you guys, and I cried a lot. So yeah, yeah so I feel, no. I feel a lot better. He's, well, he's better. Yeah, he's better. He's about yeah. to be released from the hospital, which is great. And you got a little family time this weekend, so yeah. that always helps. Yeah, I went to go see my cousin this weekend, which mm-hmm. was nice. But yeah, it was a lot. So, you know, tried to get myself out of that funk and it worked. So know that it's okay to... Hey, Kelly! <laughs> I'm going to come see you today to get those donations. We'll talk about that. Uh-huh. Hey, Kelly! I love that. Hi, beauties. Two of my favorite ladies. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a great segue into why she's going to be going to see Kelly to go get those donations. Aww. East and Ivy Charity Food Drive. Love so that. we are collecting um, non-perishable goods for the Streetlight, which is one of the um, homeless shelters in Prince William County that's right up the street from us. And they have a severe shortage right now for food. So we are collecting food for that um, and also collecting donations for, we adopted a family as well. So we, I can put information if you guys want more information on how to either give us a donation or for us to bring you a bag so you can fill it up and we can collect it. Um, we would love that, and it would be a great excuse to come see you. Yeah. Kelly texted me yesterday. She's like, girl, I got a truck full of non-perishables and a gift card on the way. I was like, <laughs> yay! Yeah, we love Kelly. And Q gave us a huge donation for wow. our families. Um, they, what they asked for for Christmas is food. Don't, can you even imagine that? It's like, that's what you need for Christmas is food. So mm-hmm. we want to do what we can for their kids and their clothing needs, and then obviously being able to get them a food gift card as well. Yeah. So if you want to support, let us know. Mm-hmm. We'll roll. Right. Yeah, we'll roll right into the recap of um, Monday. Yeah, Monday was great. Andrew was still out of the office, which made me sad, which is one of the reasons why we didn't do reality last week. Because so I was like, oh, yeah, he was on travel. Yeah, I was like, he puts together our notes and everything, and I was just like, let's do it whenever he gets back, and then we just never did. But anyway, Monday. Monday um, Angie came up and we finalized our calendar for 2021. So like our East Ivy Fest dates and our fun event, hopefully like COVID, the vaccine gets rolled out and everybody yeah. can go back to some semblance of normal. But all of our different fun client events, um, we finalized that on Monday. Yeah, and then my usual office day. <laughs> Monday, same shit, different day. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> case of the Mondays. Case Literally Monday. do the same thing every Monday. You didn't do the same thing today, Monday. Oh, well, today we get a settlement. Yeah, today we get a settlement. Yay. But then the rest of the Monday will be the same. That's true. (laughs) That's not true. It is true. Anyway. (laughs) And then Tuesday was fun. I actually, so in this whole like mind funk of like, I know that I need to be able to get out of, I need to get up and exercise or I need to do whatever. So I decided on Tuesday, I was like, I cannot let the sadness control me anymore. Mm -hmm. I have got to. Yes, you are in charge. (laughs) So I was like, I'm going to go on a walk. So I went on a very long walk with my little ear pods in because I had a coaching conversation. Like I have a, my coaching calls are on Tuesdays with my, with my business coach. And so I just put him on my ears and I went walking around the neighborhood. And the next thing you know, I'm pacing around 
the river, and I don't even, I'm like in the woods somewhere, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm puffing and puffing up this hill. It was out of control. Well, I went, so over by the old golf course, you can go, like, behind, and there's a big hill, and then it takes you to a clearing right by the river. Will showed it to me a while ago. It's, it's beautiful. So Not I, at the end of the walkway here? After no, it's, not, it's, it's closer to the um, 810. You pass up there, and then you go. Yeah. Anyway, it's a, I'm pretty sure that we're not supposed to be there, but, well, I go whenever I want to be alone and have a conversation. So it's, well, so as long as there are no trespassing, no, no, no trespassing, trespassing signs. There's not yeah. any more, because someone probably took them down. <laughs> but, Got it. Yeah, went out there on Tuesday, and that was good. Yeah. Well, we de staged Finch and then Fredericksburg. When did that settle? Did. That was not today. Uh, no, today it was, was supposed to be last Thursday, but some delays with refis and things like that. So my seller will sign tomorrow, and then tomorrow, and then the buyers close on Friday. That's exciting. Yeah, yeah. They're super excited. Tuesday, I also did something very fun. So we have something really exciting happening on January 1. Where I know what's happening Jan one, but I'm like, what did you do on Tuesday? He came over. <gasps> yeah, oh. so we finalized all the paperwork for our newest expansion partner, which we are going to be our very first expansion office is going to be in Northwest DC, and it launches on January one. I'm not going to tell anybody who our partner is yet, but we are extraordinarily excited. Um, he's yeah. part. He's part of our family anyway, so it doesn't take a rocket science to figure it out. But we'll get you guys will get to meet him. Um, live and in person or on this beautiful screen uh, whenever we get closer to that date. So the we're, first real idiot of the new year. The first real idiot of the new year will be with our incredible expansion partner. Blank, 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 blank. And maybe we'll even launch in the office. Yeah, maybe we'll end up going up to DC and do it in the office. That'll be fun. Is the office going to be done by then? Should be. Yikes. Yeah, got to get on that. Got to order the chairs. So, yeah, that was Tuesday. Tuesday was a good day. Yeah. Um, and then Wednesday, Q, our beautiful Q, came up, and she worked out with me, um, which was awesome. I was like, I did not want to do it, guys. Like, I, But I've, as of last Thursday, I was 11 and a half pounds down from all of this stuff. Now, don't ask me what I was this morning when I went to North Carolina over the weekend. That's all. <laughs> I'll have another ball game. Bounce back tomorrow. Bounce back tomorrow. It'll be fine. Um, but, yeah, I went and worked out with her super hardcore, which was exciting, and then met with her regarding a staging partner, a future staging partnership that we're going to be working on. So, yeah. Wednesday, what we do? Oh, we have a team meeting in here. Yeah. Um, started delivering cute little pop buys mm -hmm. for our clients, past, mm -hmm. present, future. No, past, present. Um... And I started getting people reaching out asking about how to donate, which was super That's exciting. Super That's actually exciting. my week highlight was yeah. like the number of people who've been reaching out asking how they can contribute money or give cards or clothes, food, yeah. everything. This is um, a high, I think it's a highlight of our, like as our time, it's like one of our foundation, yeah. our principles on our team is like giving back to our communities and giving back just to whoever that we can. It's like just having a, whatever you call it, like a service mentality. Yeah. Um, and so this time of year is also, it's very fun to... Can it, other people feel it too. Yeah. So well, it's really awesome when people reach out asking, like, "Hey, what are you guys doing this year?" Like, we've made it mm -hmm. such a part of our culture. Mm -hmm. So that's really rewarding too. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, expansions are always great. You all deserve all the blessings coming your way. DMV needs the giving spirits within you too. Yeah. 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 Like, can we just like right? Can we just clone yeah. her <laughs> and just like. Keep her in the bedroom closet and like pull her out. Oh, right. She's that, like, like, you're oh. great. You're perfect. And we're like, oh, there's a beautiful charcuterie. <laughs> you're big with homemade Kelly. jams. Oh, gosh. Obsessed with you. Obsessed, Callie. Obsessed. She's wonderful. Anyway. Yeah. Mm. And then Thursday, we've got some listings coming on in the beginning of the year that need carpet and paint and all that. Yeah. So meeting contractors out there to finalize those decisions and timelines. Mm -hmm. That was my, my, what was that? That was my Thursday. Thursday, yeah. yeah. Thursday I was in here, or mostly, and then... That's when Cannonball came Can over. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we had the whole team in here for the most part, except for our Angie, and then Cannonball. So yeah. he sat and had lunch with Josh. Josh ate a ice cream sandwich cookie for lunch while Cannon yeah. had fruit. Yeah. And french fries. <laughs> I'm like, who's the adult Who's the adult? Well, okay. I mean, for, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. If you guys don't know Cannon, you should. I would like you should follow his mother on Instagram because this child is a dancer and wears terrible, terrifying clown masks. And he loves Pennywise. I don't like, understand it. Obsessed with scary movies, he calls them funny. 
They're not. No, these aren't comedies. These are horror movies. Yeah, and this child had us watching The Leprechaun that night. Thursday night, it was family movie night yep. with The Leprechaun, which oh, is yeah. terrible. Did you know that The Leprechaun was Jennifer Aniston's big break? It was her first movie that she ever did. I didn't realize that. I didn't either. I Googled, because I, like, literally I Googled Jennifer Aniston's thoughts on being in Love the Leprechaun. I'm like, this is such a terrible movie. I'd be curious to know what she would say as an adult. So bad. But it turns out she loved it, because it's what gave her her big break. So, wow. Yeah, fun fact about that. She should probably hate St. Patrick's Day, though, after that. Uh, probably. I would. Yeah. What, what other movie did he make us watch over the weekend? Uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Killer Space. Killer Clowns from Outer, outer Space. I'm like, this kid! <laughs> <laughs> he has recommended it many times, but he's already seen that. And, and I, I don't even want to talk about why he's allowed to watch that. <laughs> These are all like rated R movies. Yeah. It's unacceptable. Yeah, he he hears hilarious. a bad word and he covers his eyes. I'm like, no, you cover your ears. But yeah, yeah. whatever. No, what did I say? It was like, what the hell? And he's like, Auntie, that's a bad word. I'm like, really? Yeah. I was on the phone was... like excited with somebody. I was like, oh my god, shut up. He was like, don't say that. <laughs> I was like, for real, Pennywise? <laughs> anyway. Out of control. Yeah, so that was fun. So family time. Mm -hmm. um, and then also, business-wise, I made a connection for off-market opportunity up in Lake Ridge. For... When are you guys going to see that? She wants a few weeks because they are adamant about painting. I'm like, you're selling it as is. Right. Don't put any money into <laughs> it. Like, literally an investor is going to buy it in the That's exact that condition that it's that in. But some people just, when they if owned they a home from Jump Street, they feel the need to do something to yeah. present it. And yeah. funny how that happens. So we're sitting at our favorite little restaurant over in Aquaquan on a Wednesday because they do like these wine pairing Wednesdays for everything. Um, and we just heard her talking to the table next door. And then all of a sudden your realtor ears come on and you're just like, what? <laughs> and so after chatting with her for a little bit, um, Jennifer has an investor that would, it would be perfect for. Yeah. So hopefully we'll be able to make that work off market. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Indeed. Yeah. And then Friday for me, um, actually a past renter from 2018 who I've obviously stayed in contact with, mm -hmm. they are looking to either rent something at a higher value, which makes me want to vomit, <laughs> or purchase. They're actually going to be speaking with Lisa today. Oh, that's our, exciting. Yeah, that? for double unders. Um, David and Jessica Quintana, they were over and um, after New Year's at the Gaylord. We went to show them that property. Do you remember? Uh, we have five yeah. guys, and then we went oh, to the I property. I remember. Yeah, yeah. Yep. that's so them. cute. Good for them. Yeah, and they're oh. married now. Oh, yeah. what is that? That's wonderful. So that's cute. one of my favorite things about real estate is being able to be with people like through the transitions in their life. It's very exciting yeah. from like before you get married to getting married to having kids to growing your family mm -hmm. to sometimes divorcing. <laughs> well, and that's the whole thing with like exploring the option of buying. Yeah. Like, they're, they want to build their family. So I'm like, okay, you build a family, that means you build wealth. Like, let's do this. Let's talk yeah. about this. Let's just see what your options are. Cause, like so many first time home buyers, especially yeah. of our age or younger, they have no idea what they're qualified for. They don't for think sure. they can afford a home. Surprise. Um, you yeah. certainly can. Yeah. So that's exciting. Uh-huh. So started working that Friday into the weekend. I love that. Mm -hmm. yeah. My Friday consisted of we woke up early in the morning and went out to Baltimore because I, we have an investor who was looking at a mixed use commercial space and then multi unit. And I was I laugh about this because Baltimore is such a crazy place to me. It's like mm -hmm. it's like you're riding through and like literally you see just like dilapidated buildings and people on the streets who are on drugs and, and you know all of these things. Yeah. And then you go over one street and it's like beautiful incredible buildings from the 20s and 30s and 40s wow. that are gilded in gold and absolutely gorgeous and i'm like this is the most wild neighborhood mm -hmm. to me and this building happened to be built in the the early 1900s so it had all wow. the incredible charm and like 12 foot ceilings ghosts. and probably goes <laughs> but it's I'm like really haunted. yeah it's a really awesome building um so we're exploring how to make that work for him that's cool yeah it's i if I was in the market to buy a multi-million dollar building in Baltimore, I would I would yeah. like seriously consider it. It's yeah. a very cool, uh, very cool concept. If you're not scared of historic things. Mm -hmm. um, or ghosts. Or ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> but if you happen to know anybody out there who wants to partner on something, he would, he's willing to entertain um, partnering for mm -hmm. um, with the right person to go into something like this, which is a very unique and interesting opportunity. So hit me up after this if you're, uh, if you're curious. Nice. Yeah, um, and then we drove to Raleigh, so a four-hour drive to, there's my cousin lives down in the Triangle area, and that's, and speaking of expansion, like, that's the, our big goal is to be able to go down south, so starting here and really, like, working all the kinks out in the district and northern Virginia and Maryland, and then going down into Richmond and Raleigh, and um, 
you know, potentially Charleston, places like that. So mm -hmm. we went down there just to get an idea, uh, well, the one to see my family, but also to get an idea of the market down there. And man, that place is growing and the agents are so nice. That's what I learned. Like, Whoa, okay, so like North Carolina has a very different thing than we do. So you have two deposits in North Carolina whenever you're, uh, whenever you buy a home. Mm -hmm. You have your earnest money deposit, but then you also have your due diligence deposit. And the due diligence deposit is non-refundable under any circumstances. So if you, it doesn't matter, like literally, and it's, and it's huh. equals half, like usually equals around 1%. So like half of it would be a due diligence deposit, half of it would be your earnest money deposit. So, and if you settle as agreed, then you go, everything goes towards okay. your down payment. But if you avoid for any reason, you don't get to keep that due diligence money at all. So you really have to know, like going into a house. And I was like, but what if your appraisal doesn't come back and they refuse to negotiate it? What if? You ha like what if you have issues that come back in the inspection report? Like my cousins, for instance, they found a house last year and they were doing something with polybutylene or had polybutylene piping, and they just freaked them out. And they didn't want to repipe the house. They're just like, no, we don't want this. So they walked away and they lost their Dang. their money, which was around fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred dollars. And I'm like, that's not. I mean, that's a lot that's, of money for yeah. a lot of you know for people. That's crazy. And heaven forbid you do this multiple times. Right. Wow. So yeah, North Carolina is a different market. Or at least the triangle is, I guess we'll see. But absolutely just bananas to me. That's so different than yeah. like for the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area that we're at. We don't do that. If you can't come to an agreement, then you get your money back. Yeah. But, yeah. Huh. huh. Indeed. Yeah. So that was, my, that was really my weekend. Yeah. Well, that's fun. Well, I did some business planning Saturday night after more family time with Cannonball and mm -hmm. Suzanne. Poor Suzanne. She came back to the house after she taught and wanted to take a nap and... <laughs> Cannon's climbing on her, spinning her chair around, She's running around making chainsaw noises because, again, horror movies. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was fun. But they left about four ish. So then I came out of the office and worked from five to eight and mm -hmm. just kind of recapped 2020 and, and looked at the projections for 2021 and just sort of diving into all that. Um, but... Yeah, I'm feeling good about it. A little overwhelmed, but excited. <laughs> um, and then Sunday, I got to play photographer for our Angie and her family. I did see this, but they went to the Ospreys. That was cute. She sent you the picture? It's on Facebook. You know I don't really go on Facebook. <laughs> this is my moment on Facebook, FYI. No, I'm it trying to do better. It's your moment. <laughs> Final day. Anyway, uh, well, I'll have to look, because apparently she said I got some really great shots. And I was like, of course I did. I was like down in the grass and watching the willow trees blowing the wind and trying to make sure that it wasn't blocking anyone's yeah. face. It was she should really scene. consider photography as your hobby because whenever you and Johnny get together, it's ridiculous. Oh, but, please believe. I called him. I was like, yo, what are you doing at one o'clock today? And he was like, I'm branching in DC. I was like, yeah, I need a photographer. I told her I'd do it, but I'm not a photographer. But that's fun. She's got a fancy camera too, so I was super overwhelmed by that. Oh, you got to use a fancy camera. Yeah. That's very nice. It was fun. That's why I was like, I got into the zone with it. Uh -huh. I was like, oh yeah. Ksh, 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 ksh. Zoom. Ksh, 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 ksh. It was a whole moment. <laughs> but anyway, that was my week. <laughs> yeah. They had the Ospreys had a um, event this weekend where half of our neighborhood had an event in the back. Did you go to the back to see how they did with it? Yeah, the, the coat drive. Um, helped them take the coats out to somebody's car. Somebody's car! <laughs> um, but yeah, they collected a good amount. Oh, good. Good amount, it yeah. cute. Did the Wonder Wonderland look cute? I didn't really see a whole Wonderland. Oh, really? The Antoinette ordered a lot of stuff to like do a whole like skate back there, but they did say if it was going to be super windy, they weren't going to be able to use a lot of it. And it was very windy. Okay, so they yeah, probably that weren't able, yeah, they weren't like, able to use all of it. Um, super, super windy on Sunday. Um, but yeah, and I need to go through closets of coats that I have mm -hmm. and purge. We, just, we hold on to stuff. For yeah. what? People need things and we're just hoarding it for no yeah. reason. I, have I had coats with tags on it. That's why you, the one that I gave you. Wow. Yeah. Sad times. Yeah. A hoarder of things. Don't need to do that. Well, what was your highlight? I kind of already said my highlight and that was just like my heart being full from the number of people who were reaching yeah. out to, to donate. Yeah. My highlight was 11 pounds down until this morning, but then also <laughs> finalizing the expansion portion with our new partner. That mm -hmm. was, because it's just, it signals growth and exciting mm -hmm. things. So we're very, I'm very excited about that. Yeah. Well, I think my learning moment last week, it's not really like, it wasn't like a failed thing to learn from, but just like a thought that I'm going to have going forward when mm -hmm. we represent sellers mm -hmm. is to contact the buyer's agent like a week, two weeks, 
up to three weeks after settlement to mm -hmm. see if any additional mail has gone to the house. Oh, interesting. You know, yeah. because people do change of address, but sometimes, sometimes stuff sometimes still slips doesn't. through. Yeah. So um, I did that for Jeff Miller last week. Oh, that's, down in Stafford. that's actually yeah. that's a very good idea. See, you just taught me something. Oh, you should make that pro common practice in the team. Yeah. Say that at the meeting on I Wednesday. Will. Yeah. Okay, I'll make a note. Um, yeah, so that was kind of my lesson learned and <laughs> favorite lunch. Well, I'm on a new meal plan this week. Woo! Very <laughs> filling <laughs> items that we're doing. Um, but I think my favorite meal of it that I pretty much have for lunch every day because it's like one of the heavier ones is the pasta dish. So mm. it's 42 grams of pasta, five ounces of chicken, and like a half a cup of tomato sauce or something. But I chop it all up real small. Mm. <laughs> so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, my biggest learning moment last week was the whole brain function, like getting up and moving and it will take care of itself. But just something that you always know. But just to remind my remind myself, it's like, nope, if you're feeling a certain kind of way, just get up and move your body. Mm -hmm. Like, we went on a super long walk one day um, and ended up feeling great after that. And I didn't even feel tired. And, like, legit, it was like five miles because we went all the way up, went over the bridge, over to Route 1, went to CVS, went down mm -hmm. to... Thursday. All about burger, and then just did a whole big loop back. That was great. Got to walk through Old Belmont. I need to find out. There's some things about that I need to find out. Are those parks? And if you know World, tell me. So in, in Old Belmont, there are a bunch of parks, and we can't figure out if Prince William County is the ones who manage those parks, or if they're actually like playgrounds. Yeah, there's playgrounds and parks, oh, and like a baseball diamond, like lit, like huge things. Like you can, if and it says anybody over 15. Or if more than 15 people want this space, call this number. I mean, like, legit, I could probably call the number, like, ask, hi, who are you? But wow. I'm just so curious. There's a lot of really cool stuff back there that I just have never seen because I never mm -hmm. went back there on foot, but we went exploring um, this last week. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so move your body, improve your mood. Biggest learning moment from last week. Um, a reminder, I guess. Not learning, but a reminder. And then my favorite lunch. So one of the reasons why we went to North Carolina, other than looking at houses, was to go down and try my cousin's food because his wife they're having family over for christmas and he is a basically a chef mm -hmm. uh, like just a hobby cooking is a hobby so he wanted to do a smoked turkey uh to actually smoke it for a significant period of time and um eat that and then their ridiculous mac and cheese is so good so hands down best turkey i've ever had in my entire mm -hmm. life and that mac and cheese like makes you want to slap your mama no but also makes you gain four pounds <laughs> But that wasn't the only thing we ate, man. We had butter cake. We had, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's magic. It's like crack magic. We had butter cake. We had bacon wrapped hot dogs and some kind of like bean sprout slaw and breakfast tacos with potatoes at every meal. I mean, it's Southern <laughs> cooking, honey. Like, it's like out of control. Hi, Jeanette. Hey, Jeanette. Hello, gorgeous ladies. Well, you talk about all this magical food i'm over here like i talked to my trainer yesterday about possibly doing a show oh that's exciting yeah wellness ah, no bikini over here wait what's wellness so wellness focuses more on like women who carry like more weight in like their legs typically uh -huh. so while i don't have a donk i do have very thick thighs <laughs> um so yeah i started gathering information from him about that and that's exciting we'll see mm. sadly the things that make me want to do it one wanting to see like how much i can push my body to like let's see what my best self looks like two i want nicole will suzanne and everybody who i know in the audience with posters <laughs> screaming for me on the stage see some people appreciate that we want to go see whenever suzanne did her bikini competition I don't know. Did she like it? Oh, she loved it. Fantastic. She I loves the cheering I crowd. am a ridiculous stage mother. Yeah. Which, like, there was flowers and tears and screaming and yeah. threatening to kill people in front of us if they didn't cheer. <laughs> it was Pretty fantastic. Much. Yeah. Clifford! <laughs> <laughs> it was great. That's exciting. I've never yeah, heard we'll of this see. Well, I've never heard of this wellness show, so I'll have to look we'll at this. It's in Springfield, so it's, like, super convenient. Don't have to travel for it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I had, like, a 30-minute conversation with my coach about it yesterday. Okay. He thinks I'm going to do it. I don't know. I'm like 60-40. 60, 60 might, 40 might not. Yeah, just do it. Why not? That's what he said. <laughs> There's literally nothing to lose. <sighs> literally what he said. <laughs> yeah, it'll give you something to work for to keep on with, you know, keeping a diet and all that other stuff. And what he said. <laughs> so, <laughs> Coach <laughs> Junior. <laughs> um, I just didn't do well with losing. Like, I'm not about to be up there and, like, become, like, the first runner-up. It's the first loser. Like, what? 
for never doing a show before, I feel like being the first loser would be a confidence boost. Because what if you get up there and like, I'm going to have to look. I don't know anything about this. I'm oh, honey, gonna... I said, I told him, I was like, you send me every link. I need to study this. I need to know what typically wins, like what they look like, uh-huh. how they, like, I need everything. Like, I'm going to stalk this before I decide. And I have to let him know 16 weeks out, and it's April 17th is the show. So. Got it. Which is so interesting. Anyway, well, yep. You guys should send Jen private messages and cheer her on. Or send her public messages and cheer her on. Tell her that she should do it. Be good shit. Good stuff. <laughs> and I'll live vicariously through you with the bacon-wrapped hot dogs. and Nope. Smoked turkey, <laughs> mac and cheese. And mm-hmm. I'm on my own journey, man. That was a whole big dis- d- d- terrible thing. Of crack magic. Oh, he was crack. laughing at your crack magic. Oh, it's so good, man. There's yeah. nothing in the world better than southern food. Anyway. Well, that's all I got. You got anything? No. Do we over here napping? Do we? No. You got anything, Baba? <laughs> Do you have Baba? Got his tongue hanging out. That's my favorite thing about having this office is the fact that we can bring our dog. Sunshine hates it. Aww. But, yeah. Louis loves I it. bought Louie a gate though, and it reminded me it's in my trunk to be able to put here. So whenever he's nice. here, so he doesn't. He ran out trying to eat another dog last week. Being crazy. And right in the street. Ran right in the street. I'm like, are you trying to die? I just like, could the car could have came out from nowhere. Bye, bye, Louie. I know, it would, be, it would be terrible. I would have thrown myself right into that street so quick, <laughs> taken that car hit for him, <laughs> leapt across from the <laughs> sidewalk. <laughs> mm. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, well, that's all we got, folks. We love you. Thank you for joining. And holler. Hit us up for donating. We can come yep. collect from you. You can drop off at our office yep. either way. We have bags. We'll bring them to you. Yay. But we love you, and thank you for joining us today, my darlings. Toots. Stay. What is it? We still don't have a name. If we could get a decent name from somewhere, you're going to get a $50 gift certificate. Oh, yeah, the tagline. The tagline. Well, stay hungry and don't get murdered. That's what we got for now. (laughs) Peace out.